The following video provides instruction on how to properly replace an actuator on a Transmotion Medical stretcher chair. You will need the following tools. Two 17mm wrenches, one flathead screwdriver, a 10mm screwdriver socket, and a 1 8 inch Allen T handle. Remove the seat pad from the chair. Using your Allen T handle and screwdriver socket, remove the four Allen bolts on the seat pan. Next, with the two wrenches, remove the nut on the front part of the actuator. Leave the bolt in the actuator. This will help support the actuator while you are removing the nut and bolt on the back of the actuator. Do the same for the rear actuator nut. When both nuts have been removed, remove the two bolts that are holding the actuator up. When removing the bolt closest to the leg section, lift the leg section slightly to allow room when removing the actuator. With the actuator removed, Take the flathead screwdriver and push the two locking points on the retaining clip. Push the retaining clip out with the screwdriver and pull on the cord closest to the plug. Connect the new actuator and lock the retaining clip. Lift the leg section and slide the actuator with the motor side facing the column of the chair. Insert the bolts to the front and rear part of the actuator. Then secure with the nuts and tighten. Be careful and do not over tighten. They will begin to make a squeaking noise when tight enough. Reattach the seat pan and take the four screws and tighten until secure. The actuator replacement is now complete. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to perform this procedure properly. If you have questions or would like further clarification, please contact the Transmotion Medical Service Department.